Hi, this is Julie with Beataholic, and in this video, I wanna show you my absolute favorite tool. So I often get asked uh, in YouTube questions and on Facebook, what tools do I personally love and use? So I thought I'd do a video showing you my must-haves. And these tools really will allow you to do all types of stringing projects, uh, wrapped wire loops, simple wire loops, work with chain, a whole bunch of other things too. So there are a lot of different choices out there, and these are just my favorites. So I, for crimping, if you're gonna use uh, crimp beads and do stringing projects, I love the pocket crimper and I like it because it's so small. My hands are not very big. And for me to get in there and really crimp a crimp bead, I like the size of the pocket crimper. I feel like it gives me a lot more control. So I would choose a pocket crimper over a full size one any day. In terms of a cutter, I really like the Zuron cutter. And this is um, just a nice affordable cutter. It's not very expensive. But what I like about it is that narrow tip. And also, if you look at the side view, how flat this is. So you can really get into tight corners with this one. And it's nice and sharp, easy to use as well. For a chain nose plier, I like the Zuron chain nose plier as well. And I like it because of the fine tip. I find it a little hard to work with things that have a broader tip. And that's me, I do a lot of detailed work with my jewelry designs and I like to be able to really get right in there. I also, again, like how easy these are to work with. I don't really ever have hand fatigue. Now, I don't use a round nose plier in my personal projects. I definitely use a wire looping plier instead, and I'm gonna show you how to use this in just a second. So this is different than a round nose plier. If you're familiar with jewelry making tools, you'll know a round nose plier basically has two noses identical to this one. With a wire looping plier, you have the one round nose side, but then you, the run round side, but you also have this concave side right here. And that allows you to create uh, wrapped wire loops really quickly and easily, and they look perfect every time. So I wanna show you these three tools in action using the wire looping pliers. And so I just have a head pin right here and a bead. And what you're gonna do is you're first gonna start with your wire looping pliers and just right above the bead, go ahead and squeeze. If I pull this away, you can see that it went ahead and it made half that loop for me. So now I'm just gonna use my fingers, bend that wire down, rotate up, and also this grips it, which is really nice. So I have something to hold on to as I'm working. And then I'm just going to loop around. And now here's where that fine point of this cutter comes in handy. I can get really up close there and snip. And then I can use my chain nose plier to just tuck in that end. So we have a really nice little link now or whatever we want to do with this one. So those are definitely my must haves. I use these tools all the time. So we've got the pocket crimper, crimper the Zuron chain nose plier, the wire looping plier, and again, the Zuron cutter. And all of these are actually very affordable. So their price point is really nice too. And then I have three other tools, which aren't ones that I use every day, but are really ones that I like to use a lot in my personal designs. And they're ones that I think are a little less commonly known. So for a scissor, I will always choose these little snip ones. I like them. So let me just do something real quick with them. I just like this easy to pick them up. You just squeeze them and it snips. And again, they have that fine point. So that's my favorite scissor. I also like big eye needles. So I like to do a lot of kumihimo and uh, crochet with beads. And so with that type of project, you're not gonna be able to use a traditional needle. So a big needle, a big eye needle, has this nice wide gap right here. And so you can get all different thicknesses of stringing material through it, which is really handy. Also, you're not fiddling trying to get a wider or a thicker stringing material through a tiny little eye of a needle, which is nice. And then lastly, I am really into loom work right now. I love it. And here's just some Nymo thread. You'll notice when it comes off the spool, it's kind of kinky. So I like using thread conditioner. If you open this up, it's like a waxy surface and you just run your thread across it and it starts to smooth it out and it gives it a little bit of like a nice coating. And that makes it so that 
it's a little bit easier to work with, it's a little smoother, and it tangles uh, less frequently, which is nice too. So those are really my personal must-haves. I, I love them, I use them a lot, and I would highly recommend each of these tools. So if you're just getting started and you're looking for a direction to go in terms of what tools to purchase, these would be really great ones. Or if you're an experienced beater and just wanna try something new, I would definitely consider one of these. So I hope you enjoy this quick overview video of my very favorite tools. You can find all of them at Beadaholic.